Taking Houdini digital assets to the next level is the premise of this whole course. We are going to create an HDA that will generate roof tiles and use it on the rooftops of this village to produce a render like this one. But the main focus of this course won't be on modeling or rendering, but on the HDA itself. I'm going to go through every step of the HDA creation process, starting from the user interface all the way to documenting and testing it. I will cover some best practices for organizing the internals of the HDA and go over internal attributes, preserving input data, validation and error checks, balancing performance versus iteration, and debugging. The last classes will take it a step further and we will look at how to leverage Python when developing HDAs. I will show you how to create tests in Python that will compare the geometry or render output by an HDA and check if there are any differences with previous versions so you can quickly check if the changes introduced to the HDA are working as expected. I will also cover some other use cases for Python that will apply only to HDAs, such as scripting menus and caching them to improve the performance of the HDA. By the end of the course, we will have a robust HDA that is production ready and is documented, tested, and can be used to produce a result such as this one.